this is Sensual, and welcome to episode 13 of our daily series Niche Pirate Cove with the Steed Stag Tribe. I know the stupidest thing ever. I was so excited to record this episode that I started recording before even pressing record. So a minute 30 in, I was like, wait a second, why don't I see red numbers? And then I realized I was actually talking to myself. Well, anyways, welcome to episode 13. So when he left off in the last episode, Firstborn Serpent was in an awkward position because his mother led a mutiny against his captain father, Krabby, who's in the distance there, about to pass away on his last day. Um, and his mother, seemingly under his father's instructions, went into the ocean to do some fishing for piranhas, and obviously to do some fishing. Um, and also to help uh, all the nichelings that we have in our tribe gain some more, not skill, but gain some more titles because as you guys have been reminding me i've already been forgetting the first mate and first born title so thank you so much to that one person who keeps reminding me over and over again stop forgetting the title so i will try and get on top of that but also we need nichelings to be fishing in order to gain the titles i think of lieutenant commander and captain we already know how that works but of lieutenant commander we need those in between all these other titles um, but we haven't been able to do that, not because I've been skipping or forgetting to give, like, to promote them. It's just that they don't hunt for Razorina, so it's not like they can get promoted. But in order for them to get Razorina, we actually need to get them to jump into the waters and go ahead and do all of that fun stuff. So, that's where we are headed. Also, some of you lovelies, let me know, which I did not even realize, that the Dark, not the Dark Pole, the Royal Hydra is running out of males. We only have one male, Captain Cobra, who is about to die, and after he dies, we're not going to have any females whatsoever. So you suggested that I should get Sailor Leech, who's over here. He has a few days left, so he should be able to get at least one offspring. But you said since he's not doing much over at the Dark Pearl, we should go on, wiggle him down, and get him to cross this divide over to the Royal Hydra. So I thought that was a good idea, I don't mind that one bit, I just want to check out his genetics to make sure that he actually is compatible with any other females that we have over here. So we have got, if anyone, it would be ideal for him to mate with Galaxy and the ENF, or Runtfish, where's Galaxy? Galaxy? Is Galaxy over here? Yeah, it's A and C, A and C, okay, so he's not compatible with Galaxy, but he should be compatible with fish or even june bug actually no not june bug he's got ANC, so not june bug penelin we've already had a child with but he would be most compatible with run fish so we might get him over here to mate with her if not her then maybe some other female uh, whoever he's closest to if he runs out of days but also, we have, I think, no, okay, Sugar Bean was going to settle a new ship with ship. Yeah, with ship. So we've got that going on. And actually, after all of that happens, she did, Shug, uh, what am I saying? Ship and Sugar Bean have had a child before, Sailor Coral, and they're leaving her behind over here to help out because we don't have a lot of females over here at this ship, the, um, the Dark Pearl. So they're leaving their first child, Coral, at the Dark Pearl so that she can help out with the population there. But they want to go settle this new ship, which I am happy for them, to be honest. Well, let's hope they get to the other side. So that's the one thing we have to worry about is getting them actually to the other side. Ship's gonna go ahead and collect that, just start prepping. Oh geez, start prepping himself. And we still haven't had anyone actually go ahead and um, jump up here to clear the grasses at the Royal Hydra because everyone at the Royal Hydra has just stuck to the ocean and stayed to the ocean. Unlike the Dark Pearl where everyone's just been on the ship itself. We've had a few initially make rounds of the ocean but not much to be honest and uh, I would attribute that to a lot of their land abilities. I mean if you look at the genetics of the Royal Hydra um, crew they've got those webbed hind feet which means they're a lot more effective in the water compared to the nichelings we have over at the opposite ship. So anyways let's get these lovely nichelings moving. I think everyone over here has moved and in this ship we just actually accept for leech and leech you need to be moving sir over to this side so let's get you wiggling over as quickly as possible hopefully you manage to do that if not we're gonna have to see 
geez, this tribe might die out. I wasn't paying attention at all to the fact that they were running out of males. And in the future, I probably have to pay more attention to that. Sailor Sugar Bean, you could make a round of the ship. Do we want you to make a round of the ship? I don't know. Oh, I kind of don't want her to make rounds of the ship. I mean, there's fish there, so she might make a few rounds. But I would like you to stay nearby so her ship can get started as soon as he gets over. I think that was all. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Before I jump and do anything, let's go ahead and name the first mates and stuff. So, sailor ship, where is it? Captain Krabby, Captain Cobra, firstborn Penelin, became first mate Penelin, I think. So many changes, so many changes. Okay. Am I, did I, did I put too many, too much spaces? Yep, I did. First mate, Penelin, wonderful. And then we had, who's the captain? Um, I guess Krabby is an ex-captain if you think about it, but he would be first mate now. So I guess it's just that the everything's, oh geez, what did I do? Did I just take a screenshot of Niche? How the hell did I do that? Okay, well first, Ah, first mate, Krabby. There we go. He has been made the first mate. And we currently have Sugar Bean over on the other side, but we don't have um, ship. So once ship gets there, then we can see who the captain is. And you guys did say that you wanted a ship that was strictly matriarchal. So I don't know. Maybe the ship with um, Sugar Bean and ship is going to be the ship with Sugar Bean as the captain. We'll have to see. We will have to see. So let's turn the day over. And I think, oh no, Krabby! First mate Krabby has died and his bones are on the bones of other bones, jeez. Okay, so um, let's get Sugar Bean. Actually, can we get Ship? Now Ship might drown super quick. Oh jeez, I'm so sorry Ship, it had to happen. Okay, Ship, kind of drowning. We're gonna get them to mate and it did not work down it, but they're gonna try to mate and have a few offspring over here to make sure that they are stable over on that ship and I think Cobra was the other one who died. We got two death notifications, I think Cobra was the other one. Let's jump over this way and yes, Cobra has died. Okay, with Cobra's death, he's gonna be passing on his captaincy. His captaincy is gonna be inherited by his eldest child, in this case, firstborn Galaxy. So Galaxy now becomes Captain Galaxy. How exciting! Captain Galaxy. And it doesn't matter if the captain who inherits has a child, it's just whoever does mutiny needs to have a child. So in this situation, it doesn't matter too much if Leech doesn't exactly go ahead and have a child with Galaxy, he can find like have a child with Runt Fish. That is well and okay. It's just that, uh, yeah, for example, if Runt Fish or someone else, like even Junebug, if Junebug were to lead a mutiny and she became captain, then she would have to have a child to keep that captaincy in her family. That rule's kind of there, and if you think about it in a story sense, to prevent the future generations or the bloodline of the previous captain from taking over. So obviously, you know, you kind of want to have a situation where you have an heir, you can say, I've got a strong family, we can keep our control over the ship. Nothing really to do with um, it being like a royal thing where the title passes on like for generations and generations. It's not really like that. It's more for the person who mutinies immediately to say, oh, I've got a bloodline that can carry this on, that can carry my work on and can back me up basically. But you know, as time goes on by, even like in a generation or two, it might be okay for them to pass titles onto their nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, those sort of things. Okay, so let's jump over to this side and let's get fish to keep walking this way. And you guys let me know that if a nicheling has water body, I can dump them into the water as a child without them dying. And I was not paying attention to that, so thank you so much. Even though Runfish is still on the sand, I do realize that I can chuck her in the ocean and I might do that in the future now that I know and I'm comfortable with that. So thank you so much, thank you so much. Okay, you, there was a bundle up here, which you could probably snag. Delicious, see that, see that, delicious. Okay, Captain Galaxy, you're over here, Captain Galaxy. I think I'm gonna get you to move. 
Yeah, I want you to move out of the way because it's not safe. And let's get Leech. Leech, come here, my boy. Leech to travel as quickly as he can. Okay, so he is over here. I think we still have to get him to this side because these few tiles right next to Mermaid are the closest tiles. And if we can get Leechlings to cross within three moves, that's ideal. Otherwise, they're gonna drown, especially because he doesn't have water bodies. So um, we need to make sure we do that. Or guilds. He doesn't have any of those. So really, he's, he's gonna die if we don't get him to get moving. Okay, Captain Kalatana. Snack. Delicious. And Mermaid isn't really gonna do anything because she can't do anything. But she is definitely gonna light up the way. Wonderful, wonderful. Nice to see them all working well together. And there's literally only like three nichelings on this ship, I think. No, four nichelings. Okay. Four nichelings on that ship. And this firstborn serpent is the child, the amazing, the wondrous child of uh, Kalatana. And actually, we need breedings done over here as well because we're running down on the numbers. Now, he's got E and A, I and F. I think we said from the get-go that they would make good mates. So I might send her inland so that she can have um, an offspring with... Um... Yeah, I might go ahead and do that. Huh. He's snagging that. I think I'm going to get her to leave. Uh, Kalatana side for a second and just trying to wiggle up to serpents so they can have offspring because I think at the moment yeah suddenly we've run out of numbers at the dark pearl because leech was going over to the royal hydra and then we've only got one two three four nichelings and then we had two nichelings obviously leave for a new ship so we don't have that much time we need to get working on these numbers as soon as possible and food is actually pretty okay so don't no, don't need to worry about that Sail Coral, let's get her to pluck some berries. Wonderful, she's helping out, that's really great. And then, okay, let's turn the day over, nobody's on a nest. Let's see what else we get up to, guys. Right, okay, Junebug is gonna collect this food that she's getting. Um, nobody's, <laughs> nobody's knocked over or anything. Look at that, run fish, you can go in the water. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, amazing, oh, look at that, once she's a little bit deeper, she can Perfect. That's just crazy. She can really move when she's a little bit deeper. Okay, Penelin, I'll get you to move as well. We don't... Oh, look at the amount of fish down here. This is crazy. Okay, can we jump over here? Oh, damn it. The fish left. Oh, you silly fish. You silly fishes. How could you leave? Okay, we'll get uh, Galaxy. He's got fishing tail to also go a little bit deeper. And look at that. The amount of rays are ringing up. That's kind of scary. Okay. Well, let's get leech. So come this way. And then we'll do one, two. He drowned a little bit, but he's up. He's got four days. Hopefully we can get fish over in time so we can get them breeding. Even if they can have at least one sun, then that's going to be of a lot of help for everyone on that ship. And that Kalatana will get you to collect these and jump over to this side. Oh look, I just saw some fish, darn it. Okay, you're gonna stay here. And then we're gonna get this lovely Nishling mermaid to hop on up. You know what, she might stay on this nest. We'll get you to collect. And let's get um, a serpent to jump on down. And it worked! So they are expecting their first offspring. How exciting. Let's see if there's anything that we need or can put in. She needs a bit of eyesight, so we're going to pop those in for sure because that really helps with movement. And that is immensely important. Now, do we have... Oopsies. What about him? He's got great eyesight and everything. He's got double claws, so their children will definitely be sailors. But um, do we have another mutation we can pop in? I don't think so. We still need more fishing to get that uh, get that tail. Yeah, we're more than halfway, but we still need quite a bit in terms of claw. We're almost there, almost there. So claw should be unlocked very soon. That will be super exciting. And as we get more mutations unlocked, having grunts will be less and less common. So that'll be quite fun. Okay, so they're all good and well. And then we need to also get started breeding on the new ship and name our captains because officially they have made it onto the other side. Right. Sailor Coral, I kind of want you to jump into the ocean as well. 
but also it's nice to have someone on land doing all these things. We already have one on the ocean, we have two breeding, and nice to stick with someone on land. Right, let's go ahead and name our captains. I think Sugar Bean is going to be the captain that we so desperately wanted as a matriarchal ship. So, Captain Sugar Bean. Did I just look at the whole name? Sorry. Sugar Bean and then a ship needs to be first mate ship because I keep forgetting that. First mate ship. Right. Wonderful. And let's get her to meet with him. And she is expectant. Wonderful. So I think here on the coast would be fine. Although I do want her to start... Hmm. We do want to clear this so... I'll get her to lay her nest right up there. I'll get ship to come here and start clearing away the grasses because we do want to make progress on that. And I do feel as though someone should be making progress on this side as well. So we might, I mean, it is difficult. I want to breed up a nacheling on this island that does have the normal hind legs before I go ahead and send someone up. Even though with that many grasses, it probably wouldn't matter. I still want to go ahead and do that. Uh, nobody else has left. Okay, I've got two nichelings to be born. Let's settle down over here and see what sort of offspring they have. Ooh, okay, so sailor here and I don't know if we got a sailor there. Let's see, someone is bleeding, someone is leeching. Um, and we have a little baby boy. Okay, cute. He looks a little bit different, which is fine because we're having a lot of similar nichelings on this ship. We're gonna go ahead and name him Firstborn because he's a firstborn, remember? I remembered this time, please don't tell me off. Okay, Firstborn Rattle. Yeah, I think that's cool. We're gonna name him Firstborn Rattle. Again, it's Serpent, he's paying tribute to the the uncle, I guess you could say that, was it the uncle? No, the, the grand uncle, I think, that he was named after. No, not even grand uncle, geez. I think uh, grand, no, father, grand, yeah, grand uncle, I think. There we go. So he's named after his grand uncle, or in tribute to his grand uncle, and he's gonna name his son in tribute to that as well. So firstborn rattle from, you know, rattlesnake. So that was one of the suggestions you guys gave me, and let's hop over to the other side, where we have, oh, we have a strong sailor here. Okay, awesome. He can definitely hunt Ray's arena. That's amazing. You know, it would be fun if we had niche slings that were like second or third borns that had this power because then they could hunt raise arena and rise up the ranks. That's another thing. You kind of need to be gifted before you even rise up the ranks in a sense. So we're going to name him, say, no, firstborn. Don't forget to the firstborn. He's going to be firstborn. Um, this was also a suggestion in the names list. I'm not sure this is how you pronounce it, but it's how I'm going to pronounce this. We're gonna call him Sailor Kafte. Kafte. Kafte? I don't know if it's Kaft or Kafte, but I'm gonna say Kafte. It sounds cool because it kind of looks like coffee. Firstborn Kafte! Wonderful! Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Okay, let's jump over to this side and we have had Leech make it over. We need to try and get Fish, who has okay eyesight, to be honest. She's got okay eyesight. Let's get her to jump up here, and then, there we go, they should make it. And he has made it with her. So wonderful. I'm wondering if he should take a risk with anyone else, but I don't think I want him to, so we're not going to get him to take a risk. But he and Runt are officially expecting. Now, can he and Runt do anything? Um, I mean, is there anything they need to put in? Better eyesight for sure, even though she does have good eyesight, but... Also, making sure that her child inherits that will be helpful. And Sailor Leech, he needs good eyesight as well, right. But we don't have Claw, so I'm not going to put that in because I don't want to risk. Even though she does have a Nopal, I don't want to risk that Claw getting overridden by any of the mutations that I happen to pop in. So, Penelin, let's get you to move this way. Oh, look, the fish! Hunt the fishies! Okay, Junebug. Oh, crap, Junebug, I'm sorry. You got leeched, so I think you're going to have to jump up and hunt that. But you need to get out of the water, otherwise you're going to get Razorina on your backside and that's not going to be fun. Okay, what about you, my darling galaxy? Let's get you to jump around this way, Razorina that you can't hunt. Oh, oh, there's like a clam you can crack, so that's quite fun. You can clack, clack, did I say clack? Did I just say clack? 
You can crack that clam, is what I meant. And then uh, Kalatana. She's like a grandmother now. Isn't that exciting? She's a flippin' grandmother. Okay. And then I want Mermaid to have another child with um, a firstborn serpent. And he, she's gonna jump this way. Again, we're having so many males. We kind of need more females. But I guess the male is good because we already have um, Coral with us as well. And with that said and done, guys, I'm gonna go off and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in my next episode. Bye-bye.